Do you ever wonder what you're really seeing up in the night sky? I mean, could that strange shape or fast moving object actually be a UFO? Or is it just a cellophane wrapper blowing in the wind? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well. Uh, well, we sent News 10's Dave Marcus out to check it out. And Dave, uh, so what is out there, huh? Well, Dale and Christina, you might be not surprised to find out that UFO sightings have turned out to be everything from fast food containers blown up into the sky to objects that even professional pilots and astronauts have been left shaking their heads over in wonder. Something is going on if there's something up there. It can be something real, not just subjective. Local UFO watchers say sightings around Sacramento, especially in the foothills, have been up lately. Local author Ben Stecker has written extensively on UFOs. There's a phenomenon that we are perhaps several phenomena that we don't even begin to understand. Maybe they are Pleiadians or whatever from another planet or from Mars even. Local astronomer Liam McDade is more than a little skeptical. It's probably not an alien species that's traveled X number of light years to come here and harass us without doing anything obvious or overt, like landing on the White House lawn, uh, having a beer with Obama. Stecker agrees the many unexplained sightings may not be from outer space. Maybe they're, they're objects built right here by some group on Earth or by our own government. Whether from Earth or not, many scientists like McDade would just like to see some hard evidence. I need to see some actual alien hardware technology, metal, ashtray with Alpha Centauri Hilton on it, something that will make it clear to me that it does not come from our planet. More sightings, whatever they are, says Stecker, may just be that more people are gazing with interest into the night sky. We know we're confronted with a major mystery, but we don't really know what it is. Uh, there's many famous sightings of various things over the years that we've never known what they were, and, and we probably never will. And in science, that's fine. Now, McDade says most of these stranger sightings turn out to be things like second stage rocket boosters or other fairly explainable phenomena. On the other hand, Steckler believes that so many sightings remain unexplained that there's plenty of room for speculation, including alien high technology that we can barely imagine. So there you are. And by the way, do you think it would be newsworthy if aliens did come down and have a beer with Obama? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they have. Maybe they have. It's just everyone's.